What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Mello. So I got a request to do a video from Rogue Dog the Rebel Bish. I like that name. So it says, ever heard of the Passport Bros? You should do a piece about it. It's like a movement now. Black men going overseas to get a good foreign wife. Now, I've never heard of the Passport Bros, but right off the bat, it sounded like some gay shit to me. And trust me, I know a thing or two about gay shit. So I got my magnifying glass out and I went to searching Beyonce's internet for some answers. Now, according to Urban Dictionary, it says, Passport Bros are men who understand that Western women have drunk the Kool-Aid past the point of no return and got their passports to enjoy happiness and peace with fit, friendly foreign women. Now, I'm going to play a couple videos so you all can get a better glimpse into what passport bros are. And I want you all to pay very close attention to these videos because you'll see a few continuous themes throughout them. Here's video number one. Are passport bros winning or losing? I'm gonna say we winning. I jumped off the porch in 2010. Uh, I haven't taken the L yet. So back in 20, uh, 2010, that's when I made the decision not to rock with... Um, American women no more. My decision, no, it, I, I wasn't one of those type of cats that uh, wasn't able to get a chick in America. I've always had uh, my pick of the litter, you know, um, and I always had really, really beautiful women. So that wasn't a, a thing for me. But what was important for me was I wanted a woman that was uh, raised to be a wife, not a woman that was, uh, I wanted a woman that was raised to be a wife. Here in the U.S., we teach our women, you know, our, our daughters, especially African-Americans, that they don't need a man. They need to be strong, independent. They need to put their career first, their education, what, what. And to me, that's a really screwed up philosophy, because when that young lady become an, uh, an adult woman, she's going to have it in her heart and her mind that she don't need a man. I don't need a man for nothing. That's what she's going to feel. So. I, now you hear uh, you hear the philosophy of I don't need a man, but I want a man. I, I, I want you to need me. I want my woman to need me just like she needs food and water. I want her to need me like she needs shelter. I want her to need me like she needs gas in her car. I want her to need me, not just want me. Wanting me is an extra, but needing me is the necessity. So I need my woman and I want my woman to need me. So in, in, in other cultures, um, my wife, she's from uh, East Africa. So I'm going to speak particularly up on uh, culture in Africa. In African cultures, women are taught that they need a man from birth. They know from, from being a little girl that they need a man. They, as a matter of fact, in my wife culture, you're not even considered a woman until you become a wife. And you're not considered a man until you become a husband. It goes both ways. So passport bros... If you do it the right way, I know there's a lot of passport uh, fellas out there that's going uh, going around. They just pretty much uh, dating. They just want to kind of see what they can smash or whatever. I mean, that's to each his own. You know, I'm not knocking you, but to get the most value out of it, uh, find your country with find your country with values you really like, and uh, find your wife in that country. A wife, somebody that you could you know really uh, be with, someone that's going to uh, bear your children and you can uh, build a life to together with, build a legacy uh, and build a future with. That's way, that way you're going to win for sure. Interesting. Now check out video number two. Why are so many men, particularly black men, leaving this country and going overseas? They're called the passport bros. My perspective is quite simple. In this country, if you make between thirty and fifty thousand dollars a year as a man, a hardworking blue collar man, many black women would call that settling. In this country, as a black man, if you have an opinion or you don't agree with the agenda, that's you're either going to be called a narcissist, a misogynist, or you're just damn controlling not in other countries. In this country, it ain't, it's, it's every day you can go to a grocery store or gas station and you see a black woman walking around with a bonnet on her head and, 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 and in pajamas. You've seen it on Kendra G's show and you've seen it on Kevin Samuels' uh, show. Rest in power, Kevin Samuels. In other countries, you don't see it. 
So the reality is this. In other countries, women are more, they, they, they practice more in their feminine nature. In this country, many black women are feminists. And they don't give a damn about a black man. So in turn, the black man don't give a damn about them. So black women, and you see them on TikTok, you see them all day long, they're calling these passport bros dusty, cheap, broke. Here's what I noticed. Both of those men are well past the age of 40, possibly even in their 50s. You are not a bro. You are old enough to be somebody's grandfather. Now I'm 26 and I don't even call myself a bro or other men. It's not cute and it's not funny. The second thing I noticed is that both of those men felt the need to put down black women in order to uplift other women. Why is it that when black men try to justify their preferences, nine times out of 10, they put down black women in the process of doing so? And I've noticed that a lot recently with black Black men who date outside their race. I'm honestly starting to feel like y'all are intimidated by black women because this makes no sense. Now, don't get me wrong, black women date outside of their race too, but you don't see them getting online and completely bashing black men. Now, what I've personally noticed is when black women date outside of their race, it's typically because they're going where they're accepted and where they're appreciated. Prime examples. When Serena Williams married her white husband, did she bash black men? Even though black people have called her masculine all her life, she still never got on line to fix her lips and bash black men. She simply went where she was appreciated. Now another example, Gabrielle Sidibe. She recently married a white man as well. Has she ever publicly bashed another black man? And y'all have called her precious ever since that movie dropped instead of her real name. And also in turn, turned around and called other bigger women of color precious as well in an attempt to be funny and mock those other bigger women. Now for whatever reason, black men are very vocal when it comes to their dislike of black women. No other culture does this. Y'all don't see Mexican men get no line talking about they want a black queen because Mexican women just ain't doing it for them. We don't see Asian men getting on line and bashing Asian women in an attempt to uplift black women. It is only our culture who does this and it's honestly very sickening. Now, getting back to those passport bros, please explain to me which one you find desirable. What I've noticed is that it's always the non-attractive, bald-headed men who are so vocal about bashing black women. What happened to being humble? Now, I personally recognize that I'll never be the most attractive guy in the room. And that's something that keeps me humble, but I'm mature for my age, I'm kind, and I have a good heart. You know, I have other attributes that hopefully make me attractive to some people. With the mindset that some of these black men have, coupled with the fact that most of you passport bros are not even in your prime? No wonder why black women don't want you. Hell, I don't blame them. Y'all put so much pressure on women to be fit and in shape and you know, she has to be a 10 out of 10. Meanwhile, y'all walking around here with the face only a mother could love. I can't get behind it. It's a joke. This whole passport bro thing is one big joke. But thankfully, not every black man thinks like that. Take a look at this black man who can't seem to get behind the movement as well. What up fam? This message is for the Passport Brothers Defense Squad. First of all, I like to say, is this a male beehive? Is this like Beyonce's fans that go around and type on everybody pays that disagree with them? Are y'all a male beehive? But let me get started. The brother said that I'm a sucker for being a stepdad. I met a woman. She had two sons. I raised her. They're going to be great. But let me tell you something. The reason these guys said life starts over at 40 is because these guys had babies by random women in their 20s. So a baby take 18 years to grow. So from 20 to 40, them boys was on child support for random women, so they couldn't go nowhere. My sons are 21 and 19. They didn't been all to all them countries buying pussy that y'all boys be bragging about, and they didn't even come back and brag. I did that in my 20s. You suffering from arrested development. See, what happened was you was working, paying child support by two, three women from 20 to 40, and now all of a sudden you off child support. You got a couple of extra three, four hundred dollars a month you can spend, and oh, you excited. Oh, you ready to live. Oh, you ready to get you a young girl. Oh, you ready to spread the word. Listen, if you mad at black women and you don't want a black woman, just go get you a Mexican girl. Get you a Colombian girl. You don't have to get up every morning and tell the world, we got passports in our forties. We going to get uh, young women from third world countries. And then you want to shame black men for being stepdads because that's secretly because you're mad at black women. You don't want single mothers to have hope. So you get up 
Don't marry no woman with a kid. Don't be with no woman with a kid. A lion will kill the children. A lion will wouldn't take care of no new baby's kids. Making all these examples because you're just angry and sad. Hey, bro, go buy you some pussy. You got $300 to G off child support now. Go buy you some pussy, fam. Passport Brothers, I want to debate y'all guys or do anything with y'all guys. Since y'all come to my page with the Passport Brothers Defense Squad, let's go live. Let's, let, let, let's talk about it. You guys are a female beehive. A female beehive. I like that. This is what I want every Passport Bro to do. Untuck your balls and let them hang for a few, okay? Y'all have to remember, men are the ones who typically lead a relationship. State how you feel and communicate with women without putting them down and without saying that black women are this and that. There is a legit war between heterosexual men and women and it is honestly crazy. And if it takes someone like me who's looking on the outside in to say all this, the problem is a lot worse than y'all think it is. I love black love and I wouldn't be here today without it. And I hate to see y'all constantly going at it with each other day in and day out. Now, with all of that being said, I always try to hear both sides and hear everyone out. It seems like a lot of black men are just fed up with black women, hence this whole passport bros movement. I did some research and there was a study conducted on married black men and the challenges they face with black women. As black women represent the greatest number of women not married in the US. At the time of the survey, it was around 42%. They asked black men to share their perspective as to why they think that was. 79% stated gender conflict between men and women. The married men said black women are misguided in their approach to attracting and keeping a mate. They stated the strong and independent nature some black women have and stated it challenges relationship formation and maintenance. Now, other black men stated it's their failures to meet their responsibilities and also pursue a higher education, as well as a lack of trust some black women have with black men. Other black men noted challenges such as women not showing ladylike behavior. Two examples they gave was when women cussed and when they were revealing clothes. Clothing. They also said setting standards too high and placing more value on men who can provide material things, which I definitely think is true. A lot of women live in this fantasy world that men just have to spend all their money on her. You know, they don't want to go 50-50 in a relationship. And if they do, they don't want to be in one. Now, I think that's holding a lot of women back personally, but you know, to each his own. Now, other men stated that black women engage in controlling behavior and they're not approachable. Like they're not friendly and they have bad attitude. I think that it's also important to note that one black man said that when women try to pursue a man, it can sometimes come off as aggressive and end up hurting their chances at a relationship. Now, I personally think times have changed a little bit and I think that it's okay to shoot your shot, but you have to be mindful in the way that you do it. Don't come off as aggressive. Men don't find that cute. Now, those are just a few reasons that black men have stated between black women and the disconnect with them. I'm gonna link the article down in the description box so you all can read it if you're interested. Now it is a lengthy read, but it's a really good one and it definitely helped me to understand where some black men are coming from. Now, what I really want you all to take away from this video, it's okay to have your preferences. Date who you wanna date, but do not bash your own people in the process of doing so. And please start to communicate with each other. Instead of talking at each other, sit down and talk to each other. Some of y'all swear up and down that you don't care about the black man and the black woman, but you do. You don't put energy into things that you don't care about. I love black love, which is why I put time and energy into it. At the end of the day, I can't fix the problem between black men and women. That's up to y'all to do, but I do hope to support you all in doing so. And just know I'm rooting for black love always will. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up or thumbs down as that's okay too. Go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this video. Now, what do you think about the Passport Bros? Do you support it? And what do you think about the reason some black men gave as to why they feel that black women are unmarried? As always, if you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos as I do upload them weekly. I hope everyone has a great rest of their day and I'll catch you all on the next video.